Hi there, um, if you saw my recent video of the uh, adapted gear change linkage for my kit car um, that concentrated on the gearbox end, so the levers on the box um, this I guess is very much part two, so this is concentrating on the front part, so the actual gear stick itself what you're looking at here is the original Toyota Corolla unit as you can see almost all of it is plastic, including the bushes uh, the bearings and the ball joint um, it's enormous um, it's actually far too big to fit in the kit car and because it's quite worn and old and plastic the uh, gear change was frankly awful so the mission is to remanufacture this um, get rid of all the sloppy plastic shorten the gear shift so uh, it's nice and tight race car like um, and I guess make it smaller so that it actually fits into the kit car um, that's probably the most important part as you can see the the gear shift throw on this is, is probably 8 to 10 inches by the time it's changed gear. It's very sloppy and, uh, and it was frankly awful. So moving on then, let's have a look at the next part um, that I want to show you which is all the pieces. So over the last uh, nearly two weeks I suppose I've been making these bit by bit on the lathe and the mill. Um, what you can see here is uh, an explodogram of all the pieces which are going to essentially remanufacture that original gear shift. So I took some key measurements from the original, um, primarily uh, distances between axis, angles and distance of throw and things like that. But the rest of it I had a pretty free reign to either shorten, make smaller or improve um, as I went. So what you're looking at here are all the components that I've been machining. Um, everything you can see here is either stainless steel or aluminium including the bearings. So the pieces that uh, I didn't make, uh, I guess, are the odd nut and washer, the bearings and um, the rose joint there, but everything else was machined um, by me. Um, in fact, that's not quite true because my dad made a few pieces. So this main bush here and this rear axial bush, um, in, that's in aluminium. Um, dad kindly made those for me on his lay, so thanks for that, Dad. Um, so what does it do then? So okay, so I'll just go through them. It breaks into sub-assemblies, and I, I, I know it's difficult to see it um, in this in this light. But um, I'll post another video of once this is actually up and running, complete, and I can show you it working. But just very quickly then. So here's the first sub-assembly. This is the bell crank, so that replaces the plastic bell crank. Um, these are little bushes and washers that I made. Um, put this together that there is the pin that will hold the uh, cable end okay so that's the first sub assembly this um, is probably the most important assembly here so this is a uh, a cage this is going to house the main stick bush that was made um, actually by me from uh, pieces of flat stainless steel bar so to give you an idea I've got some bar there so these are the pieces here this sort of stuff um, 6mm on one side and the rest is 3mm so I cut them and shaped them, TIG welded them together and then uh, ground all the welds off so it looks quite nice and sort of sharp and smooth. So that's that bit. These are stainless steel pins that I made, these are the actual actual pins which will hold into the front and rear bushes. Like I said dad made this bush for the rear, that's an aluminium piece. This one, I had to remanufacture uh, re this one, I had to make this one because um, it had to be considerably bigger than the other one as you can see. Um, I milled a flat on the back edge there and uh, drilled and tapped a hole. Um, that hole incidentally is to uh, to fit the bell crank onto. Okay, so this piece, um, I really like this piece, this is stainless steel, it's quite a lump this actually. But this was machined from uh, by my dad actually originally um, from a 60 mil bush or nearly a 50 or 60 mil stainless steel bush in fact one of those dad kindly made me a spare so as you can see there you can see the registers where the twin bearings drop in so there's a bearing that runs in either side of that um, so as you can appreciate um, not much chance of that wearing out so if you see the difference between the two there you can see that okay so basically we start with a, a 50 mil round bush and then uh, using a grinder and a belt and table sander 
and a mill to flatten the edges off, um, shaved it down into what you can see there, considerably smaller and considerably lighter. Here's the upper gear stick, um, that's the lower part of the gear stick, again there's a threaded pin which is actually going to attach the cable to the bottom. So like I said, it doesn't work too well on video, So, uh, but I did want to just give you a little tour of all the parts and pieces. Once it's up together, I will um, send another video in um, of this piece actually working, um, so you can see how it all goes together. But until then, thanks very much for your time. Cheers.